Hi, Tanya Teche, Transformational Psychology Coaching. Back to your regularly scheduled D programming. I'm getting better at that word. Um, so today's share is about depression. And I it's a bit of a vulnerable post because I just want to share that um, I navigate depression. Um, I've been navigating it for years. So there are tools that I use and these are, you know, this is why I share with you guys, um, that, that help me feel better in the in-betweens. Um, so they're actually, what it comes down to, to keep these videos short and sweet so that, um, more people, you know, have time to, to, to view them in their entirety. I like to kind of keep them a couple minutes or so and not go too long. So to keep this shorter and sweeter, what they come down to is nervous system soothers. So ways that I soothe, self-soothe my nervous system when I'm navigating or even, you know, let sometimes it's just, let's be frank, struggling. Um, so there are all these different ingredients into what goes on with, you know, depression and um, hormones have something to do with the food, what you eat, especially if you have genetic predispositions like I do. And these are things that, you know, are handed down genetic, of course, like genetically, but then that, that informs my work as when, I, um, when I'm talking about ancestral trauma. Um, I think epigenetically speaking, uh, these, these um, mutations, for example, have evolved because my ancestors struggled too, with depression or um, challenges along that, along those lines. So anyway, so there's all these different ways we can, we can support ourselves and f nutrition is, is key. Um, I have to watch uh, what I eat and drink. But um, today's share more specifically is, is about a list. It's a tool you can use and it's a dynamic living tool. I, um, uh, I, I just, I, I don't put pressure on myself thinking it has to be all inclusive and, and, um, I know that it, it can evolve and I invite you to, to consider it that way as well. So here's what you do. You, um, take a moment, uh, a, a few minutes, as much as you know, you can, and you even close your eyes and take a deep breath and oxygenate your body and, recall, feel into what helps you feel better, um, and make a list of it. So for me, uh, massages make me feel better. Touch is a tremendous nervous system soother for me. Um, taking rides, taking drives, especially if there's a lot of greenery. So, um, taking rides to a park, walking through parks, um, Talking to friends sometimes, but sometimes that's draining. So I have to I have to watch which which it is because you're you're working um, you're focusing on supporting your nervous system here while you're in the in betweens. Um, uh, baths, salt baths, scents, scents really lift my mood or change my mood. Uh, I mean, scent to me is like almost like time travel. You know, I can smell something from when I was a 14 year old teen, like a hairspray, um, and just whew, go in some kind of time machine back in time. So scents that are, uh, uh, soothing to me and not reminiscent of any kind of sad time in my life. Um, let's see what else I made a list and it's in my wallet actually. Um, Oh, the sun, the beach, um, yeah, so that's it for now. Actually, you know what? Let me see if how handy it is. Because I'll pull it out. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Ashtanga, oil baths. See? Um, driving, dancing, socializing, reading, sleeping. That's a big one. Um, there was something I read once that... Um, a client had told her therapist that she was so depressed and she just drew, drew out the word 
And actually, the, 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 the remedy was in that drawing out of the word, I'm so depressed. She needed, in part, deep rest. Deep rest. So sleep is, is um, a big one. And I overlooked it for years, which uh, contributed to some of my um, challenges with autoimmunity. Um, but that's a video for another time. Okay, so laughing, love laughing. So comedians or comedies, chanting. I love, I happen to love bhakti yoga and chanting, kirtan. Um, shout out to Raghunath, uh, one of my teachers. Hugs, cooking, um, being with family, being with my sons. Cold showers, actually, that's a whole other topic we can get into and what it does to the vagus nerve and um, your nervous system. Uh, cold swims, cuddling, I love cuddling, um, sunshine, the beach, water, being outside, salt bath massages, uh, pedicures, scents. I'll leave some of these are private. <laughs> um, acupuncture. And that's it. That's it for now. Um, so anyway, I just encourage you to create your own list. And I, you know, like I said, I carry mine in my wallet. So when I'm feeling down, um, to, to, you know, change my state, I, I refer to this and I get out there and I get that, I get out there in the Gaia is what I call it. The Gaia, the, 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 the cosmos, the earth, the universe. I get out there, get out there in the Gaia to shake it up and shake it off. Um, and sometimes I do the reverse and I sleep, but you know, there's a balance and I, um, it's just all part of a recipe. So I share this with you, uh, to know that you're not alone. And here are some ways to intro into supporting yourself. Um, feel free to reach out. And also if you want to dive deeper into, um, a course, for example, and you don't want to do one-on-one -on -one just yet, the resilience course I have on my uh, social media profiles is a great alternative to work with me virtually directly uh, or virtually by your side. And I, I mean, is a better way to say it. Um, you download the program and you, it's self-paced and, and I'm, you hear my voice and you hear uh, me working with clients. So it's a great way to be a fly on the wall and, and listening to other people be coached and guided is tremendously beneficial um, and sparks a lot of insights to the listener. So it's a super valuable course. And if that's something that you're interested in, check out the link. Um, and of course, you can always reach out to me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. You're not alone. Bye.